Happy Sunday, everybody. I hope you had a blessed day. I've had an awesome Sunday here in Nashville, Tennessee. The weather was beautiful. It was perfect today. Uh, we had two powerful services. Uh, we stepped away from our theme, Withstanding the Wind, because we had a guest speaker. Mr. John Verveer was in the house. Oh, and man, that word, that word transformed our hearts today. So I encourage you to go to NashvilleLifeChurch.com and take a listen or Nashville Life Church YouTube. And I know you will be blessed. Bring up the message from today. All right. He taught on honor and I'm just going to give you a quick review, but please go and check it out. He reminded us, he started in second John one and eight and reminded us that God wants us to receive a full reward. Okay. Not a, not a partial reward, but a full reward. He went to Mark and talked about how Jesus was limited in his own, uh, in his hometown, uh, because they withheld the honor. He wasn't able to do all the miracles that he did in other cities there because they had an image of what the Messiah should have been and, and, and how he should have came. And so therefore they withheld the honor from Jesus. He told us that honor means of course, to value, uh, to, to appreciate, to esteem. Dishonor means to treat as common, to treat ordinary, to not show respect or value. Uh, you know, in Isaiah, it, it says that we honor God with our lips, but our hearts are far from him. And, and we all know we can honor in words and in actions, but true honor comes from the heart and God looks at our hearts, right? Uh, he went on to talk about the how all authority is of God. All authority is of God. He said there are three level, uh, three levels of human beings that that really everybody fits into: leaders, the prophets, um, peers, and also little ones. And 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 then he broke down the delegated authority. Number one, civil authority, family, social, and church. Uh, civil authority, talking about our government leaders, how we have to honor them, honor them. You have to honor the position. And, and, and we, as a nation, we have to learn how to honor uh, those who are in authority. If not, we will allow dishonor to destroy our nation. So we have to change because this is in the word. This is just not a good idea. This is not an option, but, but God wants us, he commands us to honor um, those who are in authority. Then he went to family and it was so beautiful. He talked about family, how he's been blessed, you know, when he, when he has honored his wife and his children and how God has blessed his life. It was so, so good. And of course he went to the scripture where, you know, when, when a husband does not treat his wife right, his prayers are hindered. And, and again, it was another confirmation that when we dishonor one another, then God is limited on what he can do for us. And we will not be able to receive. Our prayers are hindered. Men of God, your prayers are hindered if you're not loving your, your wife and taking care of your wife. And so that was awesome. He reminded us the, 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 the commandment of honoring our father and our mothers, you know, um, that's the first commandment, not suggestion, first commandment with a promise. The promise connected to that is that you will live well, you will have a blessed life and a long life, you know? And so, yeah, so he talked about how we are supposed to honor God and honor one another. And yes, our leaders, our peers, our, um, our, uh, social leaders, um, our church leaders. It was beautiful how he broke it all down. And basically it ended up that we're supposed to honor everybody, everybody. And he talked about how <laughs> you are supposed to honor people that dishonor you. Just because somebody dishonors you does not give you the right not to honor them. We have to honor everybody. And he said the reward, the full reward comes when you're able to honor those who have dishonored you. 
He even got into going through the airport and how you go through the TSA lines or, or the security lines and how sometimes they take your bag and they go through your stuff. And, oh, I've had some bad attitudes sometimes. And he was saying how he would take out the time and thank them for what they do. And I just got so convicted. I said, I don't think I've ever thanked somebody in the security line for what they do. And really they're there to protect us. And so he just went on and on with so many incredible examples to remind us to honor one another. And why? Because Jesus paid an awesome price. He paid the most expensive price for every living soul. So we have got to learn and we must honor God, fear God, honor God, and honor one another. Honor those who are over you, honor those who are on your same level, and then honor those who are under you, our children. Yes, our um our younger brothers and sisters, um, as pastors, we're to honor members of our churches. Uh, it was just beautiful. Why? Because every living soul, every living soul is valuable. So let's allow God to do all that he wants to do in our lives, in our families, in our churches, in our cities, in our nation, and around the world by honoring him, by honoring our leaders, and by honoring one another, by honoring every living soul. God bless you. I love you. I honor you. Be blessed, and I'll see you next time.